Shalom, shalom, beloved. It's me, Angel, another saint. Um, I'm going to read Genesis 25 out of the Hallelujah Scriptures. Um, Bereshith 25. Here I go. Father, for your glory alone, Father. In Yeshua's name, bless this reading, my Lord. My master. Amen. Um, Bereshith 25. Genesis 25. And Abraham took another wife whose name was Keturah. And she bore him Zimran. And Jokshan. And Midan. And Midian. And Jichak. Jichbak. And Shua. And Yokshan brought forth Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Asherim, and Letushim, and Leomim, and the sons of Midian were Epha, and Epher, and Hanok, and Abida, and Elda'a. All these were the children of Keturah. Now Abraham gave all that he had to Jitshak. But the sons of the concubines whom Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts while he was still living, and sent them away from his son Jidshak, eastward to the land of the east. And these are all the years of Abraham's life which he lived, one hundred and seventy-five years. And Abraham breathed his last breath, and died in the good old age, aged and satisfied and was gathered to his people. And his son Shichak and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the field of Ephron, son of Sowar, the Hittite, the field with Ab which Abraham purchased from the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried with Sarah his wife, and it came to be after the death of Abraham that Elohim Barak his son Jichak, and Jichak dwelt at Be'er Lahai Roy, and this is the genealogy of Jishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Mitzrite, Sarah's female servant, bore to Abraham. And these were the names of the sons of Jishmael by their names, according to their generations. The firstborn of Jishmael, Nebaioth, then Kedar, and Abdi. Ad Biel and Mibsam and Mishma and Duma and Masa Hadad and Tema Yetur Nafish and Kedema These were the sons of Ishmael, and these were their names by their towns and their settlements, twelve chiefs according to their tribes. And these were the years of the life of Ishmael, one hundred and seven years. And he breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people. And they dwelt from Hawila as far as Shur, which is east of Mitzrayim, as you go toward Ashur. He settled before all his brothers, and this is a genealogy of Jitshak, Abraham's son. Abraham brought forth Jichak, and Jichak was forty years old when he took Rivka as wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean, and Badan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Aramean. And Jichak prayed to father for his wife because he was barren, and father answered his prayer, and Rivka his wife conceived, and within her the children struggled together. And she said, If all is right, why am I this way? So she went to ask father. And father said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples shall be separated from your body, and one people shall be stronger than the other, and the older serve the younger. And when the days were filled for her to give birth and see twins, 
were in her womb. Mosquitoes are killing me, beloved. Oh, uh, forgive me. Um, where was I? And within her, the children struggled together, and she said, If all is right, why am I this way? So she went to ask father, and father said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples shall be separated from your body, and one people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. And when the days were filled for her to give birth, and see twins were in her womb, and the first came out reddish all over, like a hairy garment, so they called his name Esau. And afterward his brother came out with his hand holding on to Esau's heel. So his name was called Jacob, and Jishak was sixty years old when she bore them. And the boys grew up, and Esau became a man, knowing how to hunt a man of the field, while Jacob was a complete man dwelling in tents and Jichak loved Esau because he ate of his wild game but Ribka loved Yaakob and Yaakob cooked a stew and Esau came in from the field and he was weary and Esau said to Yaakob please feed me with that same red stew for I am weary that is why his name was called Edom but Yaakob said, Sell me your birthright today. And Esau said, Look, I am going to die, so why should I have birthright? Then Yaakob said, Swear to me today. And he swore to him and sold his birthright to Yaakob. Yaakob then gave Esau bread and stew of lentils, and he ate and drank and rose up and left. Thus Esau despised his birthright. That's it. That was um, Genesis 25, beloved. Um, Bedesheath 25. Um, all right, let me continue to the next chapter. Shalom.